Chapter 5 The Cactus and the Beautiful Rose Spring season had arrived. Rich green ray of grass and trees covered the valley. The flowers were blooming. One day, a rose heard a pine tree appreciating it. What a beautiful flower it is! I wish I were also that beautiful. Mango tree said, Dear pine, do not be so sad. We cannot have everything. The rose turned its head and said, Of course, I am the most beautiful flower in this valley. A sunflower raised its head and said to the rose, Why do you say so? In this valley, there are many beautiful flowers. You are only one of them. The red rose looked at a cactus and said, Look at this ugly plant full of thorns. The pine tree said, Red Rose, do not utter something rude like this. Who can say what beauty is? You have thorns as well. The Red Rose looked angrily at the pine and said, I thought you had great mindfulness, but you do not know what beauty is at all. How can you compare my thorns to that of the cactus? As the day passed, the Red Rose kept looking at the cactus and kept insulting it. The cactus never got upset and it even tried to advise the rose that nothing in this world has been created by God without a purpose. Spring passed and the weather became very hot. There was no rainfall. In the valley, life became difficult for the plants and birds as they needed water. One day, the red rose saw that some sparrows stuck their beaks into the cactus and then flew away refreshingly. It shocked the red rose and the red rose asked the pine tree what the sparrows were doing. The pine tree said that the sparrows got water from the cactus. The red rose asked, Does it not cause pain to the cactus when they make holes? Yes, but the cactus does not like to see any bird in pain. Said the pine tree, The red rose felt very ashamed of its earlier words and behavior. The rose learnt the lesson. One cannot judge the quality of anyone by its appearance. So, it does not matter how little a person or thing is. They all serve some purpose.